Interviewing and landing a competitive role can be incredibly challenging, but in today's video, I'm going to give you three powerful phrases you can say in your next interview that'll help to get you hired. Let's go. Now, the first phrase is a pretty simple one, and it's, in my previous role, I was able to accomplish blank because of blank. Now, what are you talking about here? You're basically letting them know that in a previous role, you were able to accomplish a deliverable because of a unique skill you have. Now, it seems like a very simple thing to say, but I can tell you as a recruiter of 13 years, not enough candidates are direct with what they were accomplishing in their previous roles and what allowed them to do so. People talk a lot about, you know, I have this many years of experience or in my past role, I did A, B, and C. But if you can frame a significant accomplishment that you had in a previous role, in a previous role with the skill that you have, hopefully one that's a bit unique to you or an expertise you have that is desirable to them as why you're able to do that, it's a pretty powerful statement. Again, this is a little bit of a simple one. It's, I was able to do blank because of blank, but I can tell you not enough candidates say that and it'll immediately differentiate you as a strong candidate. Now, the next statement I want you to master before your next interview is in previous roles, managers have relied on me to do blank because of my experience with blank. Now, what you're doing here is kind of similar, but it's a bit different. When you say my managers relied on me to do blank, you need to put forth a critical thing that you did for the different teams you belonged in the past. And when you say because of my skill or expertise in, you're allowing yourself to highlight something that's a value proposition for you as a candidate. It's something that you um, excel at. It's something strong. If it's a unique skill that not a lot of people have, all the better. What you're basically saying is, I was someone who was relied upon, previous managers depended upon me, and it was because I bring this unique and valuable skill to the table. If you can say things like this in your interview, it'll immediately separate you as a strong candidate. One note here that's pretty important, when you're talking about the different skills that allowed you to accomplish these goals, they need to be related to the job description. If you mention something that isn't in the job description, it's not something that you're going to need to use or have access to on a day-to-day -day basis. It really doesn't move the needle here in terms of helping you get hired. But if you look in the job description and there is something in there that you are strong and experienced in and skilled in, especially if it's something that's unique um, or it's something that's rare, Telling them how you're relied upon because of your skill in this specific area, it's just an incredible way to stand out. Now this last one is really unique and I can tell you that most candidates don't say anything about this. So if you do, it'll allow you to stand out. And that statement is, I have been known to improve my team's culture and engagement because of blank. Now, even if you're not a manager, right? Every single hiring manager out there understands the importance of having a great team that functions well together. So when you say that you're able to contribute to a team's engagement, to their culture, um, because of blank, and then you can add in something there, maybe it's your ability to knowledge share, maybe it's your ability to mentor, maybe it is your ability to um, create good relationships, whatever it is, if you're able to do this, that's seen as an immediate value add. A lot of candidates will sell you on what they can do or what they've done in the past or their skills or their education or their industry alignment, but very few candidates sell you on why they're a great team addition. And I'm telling you, it's important to every single hiring manager. So make sure you're selling why you're a great candidate, but on top of that, you wanna be talking about why you're a great teammate. In a very close race for an offer, that might be the differentiator that pushes you over the edge. Now, these are things that you absolutely should say. But do you wanna know some things you shouldn't say? Well, then you should probably go watch this video here. This video here is five things you should never say to a recruiter. Look, I'm a recruiter and I want you to communicate to me why you're a great candidate, but I never think you should say any of these things to a recruiter. Not if you want the job. So I'm done here, but I'll see you over there.